envisioned this event to bring together two key audiences that could actually make a difference. I think everybody in this room probably has had some connection, association with some form of mental illness. We don't talk about it because of the stigma. So our purpose today is to start that dialogue. If people don't feel safe reaching out and getting the treatment that they need, they will perish. My own brother was an alcoholic, but he was also suffering from bipolar disease. We didn't know it in part because he didn't know it for a long time. My brother ultimately lost his battle to that disease. It took me at least a year to tell anybody outside of my closest circle of friends, how can I ask others to get past the stigma if I can't share my own story? I'm just a guy who has an illness, it happens to be in my head. We fear what people will think. We fear that if we're found out, people will treat us differently or that our careers will be damaged. We need to have more conversations, more open dialogue, be conscious of your language when talking about mental illness and give it the same respect that a physical illness gets. Is mental illness really even relevant to this story? Avoid using mental health terms to describe non-health issues. When I see a sentence that says the coach's play calling was schizophrenic, swap it out for erratic. Let's not try to use these kind of diagnostic terms to describe things that, that, that aren't about mental health at all because that adds to the stigma. Early identification and intervention for someone struggling with mental illness can make an enormous difference.